Welcome everyone to our Warrior Words of Wisdom series. Today we have Amy Lynn Graff. She is in the Human Resources and Recruiting Manager for Rural Sourcing, a domestic outsourcing firm in Fort Wayne, Indiana. She has worked in several industries, including private equity, higher education, and healthcare. She is especially interested in organizational culture development, as well as leadership development. She holds an MBA from Indiana University, as well as a bachelor's degree in management from Indiana Tech. Amy loves to spend time with her family exploring downtown, reading, and spending time outdoors. Welcome, Amy. We're so happy to have you today. Um, you're a great friend to Tech, both as an alumni and as an employer, um, and you've served us in two different capacities. So you bring a wealth of knowledge, and today we're going to talk about the new wave of virtual interviewing. Absolutely. So first of all, thank you so much for having me. Um, I love getting to interact with your team and with your students. Um, this is a whole new ball game for a lot of us. Um, so both those incoming, um, you know, employees as well as us as recruiters. So there are certain things that we like to see during virtual interviews. Um, I know a lot of times the advice that they get is, oh, we'll just treat it like a normal interview. But when you haven't done one of those professional interviews, it's a little harder to do. Um, so I just had a couple of tips um, for all of those that are looking for jobs right now. Um, so the first one is part of that bring your normal interviewing um, to the virtual interview. Please make sure you do your research. Do your research on the job position, do your research on the company, have some good questions. Um, look up the person that will be interviewing you if you know their name on LinkedIn, kind of get an idea of who they are and what they've done in the past. Um, so that's always super helpful and that's gonna make you stand out from others. Um, the other one is dress the part from your head to your toes, please. <laughs> Um, we've, we've had a couple of incidents where, um, you know, people are wearing sweatpants, but they look very nice on the top. And for whatever reason, they had to get up in the middle of their interview, um, and either, um, move around or quiet somebody down in the background because they didn't have a great space to do that. And we notice, so just make sure you dress the part for sure. Um, and then just mind your background, mind what noises are around you. We're going to try to be much more, um, lenient on things that are going on. If there's dogs in the background or someone's running their mower, you can't really control that. But um, do that as much as you can. Try to find a nice quiet place. Try to find a blank background. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't have a blank background and you're doing a Zoom call, virtual backgrounds are a godsend. Um, so if you need help doing that, um, you just click on the little video camera icon on the bottom of the Zoom call and choose your virtual background. They have some nice office themed ones. Um, so that's really easy to do. Um, and then the whole um, eye contact, so much harder. Um, you know, as Amy and I were talking about this before we started, you, know, you look at the camera, not at the face. So it's easier if you move that screen to closer to where your camera is on your computer, but um, also much easier if you use your laptop as opposed to your phone. Um, Phones move around, they're small. If somebody calls in the middle of your interview, it interrupts and sometimes cuts off the interviewer. So try to have the right equipment as much as you can. Um, I, and then one thing that I really enjoy um, when my interviewees come in and they know enough about the position and what's expected of them to be able to tell me about side projects that they do that are related to their major or related to what they're doing. Um, it just really makes them stand out. It shows me that they love to learn. Um, it shows me that they wanna be involved in other things. And that's really important to any employer. So those are my big tips for interviewing and, and some specifically to virtual interviews as well. Perfect. Perfect. So in this crazy world that we're in right now, are you doing all of your interviewing virtually then? We are. Um, our whole team is now working from home, working remotely. So we are doing all of our interviews virtually. And I know even those that are in office, some of those companies in office, they don't want to bring that added, um, you know, whatever, whoever you've been interacting with, um, they don't want to bring that into the building and they don't want to expose you to anything that their workers may have. So I think that this is going to be 
um, a longer term trend than we had originally thought. Yes, got you, yes. So when you are doing these virtual interviews, are you still doing like a screen call? Absolutely. You normally would do, okay, so that's first. So we wanna let students know that's still gonna be coming. Yes, yes, we wanna to get to know who you are um, before we do that virtual interview a little bit. And we wanna give you more information about our company, um, more information about the job description as a whole. Um, so that's a big part of it for us as a company. Some companies will do that, some won't. Um, but I always appreciated when I was job searching when they would give me more information about who they are, more than I could just find out on the website. So we tried to do that. Awesome, great. Um, and so say you're a new grad, um, new computer science grad coming out, and in this pandemic that we're in right now, doing virtual interviews, so your process is you'll do your screen, mm -hmm. and then do you interview them your, yourself, and then a team interviews, or how are you guys handling that? I've had three different students ask me how to prepare <laughs> for a group virtual interview. They were so worried about interrupting or, you know, things like that. Sure. Um, body language is key. Please, please, please turn your video on, first of all. Um, we do have some candidates that try to get away without turning <laughs> their video on. It's rare, but it happens. Um, but also pay attention to the body language of others that's going to help you. Um, there's some grace given, I think, in this process, but... Um, our process is I just do a 30 minute phone call first. Mm -hmm. um, so that's when they meet me, that's when I kind of get a gauge for what they're looking for and what they want to do, how they want to grow in their career, how much do they know about um, rural sourcing and um, you know, do they want to stay in Fort Wayne or do they want to go elsewhere? Because we do have locations elsewhere that um, we're more than open to having people that want to explore a little bit, um, be able to do that. Um, after that, we are very aware that it's interviewing is high pressure anyway, right? Yeah. Um, so we don't want to gang up on, on that person. <laughs> so what we will do is we will send them a, an online assessment and that just kind of assesses where their skill set lies and make sure that we're interviewing them for the correct level. Um, and then they will have two half hour back to back interviews one on one with teammates in that specific practice area. So if they're Java, it'll be Java. If they're, you know, .NET, it'll be .NET. And they'll ask both questions about the specific technology and what they've done in their background. But also they're going to assess for, is this a good place for that person? Are they going to fit well on our teams? Um, are they lifelong learners? Um, do they want a place where they come into the office every day or do they want to work from home all the time? Because our normal is that everybody comes into the office. Um, so we assess for that culture fit as well. Got you. Very good. Um, yeah, I was just trying to think of questions that students have asked me. Um, so I also wanted to, in this um, for you to tell us a little bit about rural sourcing and do a little employer spotlight. And since you um, guys are here, downtown Fort Wayne, super exciting. So I would like for you to expound on your company a little bit, please. Absolutely. Um, so rural sourcing. Um, like you said, is a domestic outsourcing firm. What it means is we're client services. So we work for um, other companies, either building their proprietary um, technology or they're sometimes we'll, we'll tweak what they have, we'll add on, um, all of those things that they may not wanna hire their own team of software developers to do either because it's a short-term project or because it's just too costly and they can't find the talent. Um, that's what we do best. So we work for um, companies in all different industries from healthcare to construction to other software companies um, all across the United States. So we're really trying to bring those jobs that have gone overseas back to middle America. So we set up in these, um, these cities that are very much like Fort Wayne. You know, we're not the biggest city in the big metropolis here in Indiana and um, that's okay because there's great talent here much better for our developers cost of living wise but there's still plenty to do um, so we have six development centers nationwide that are in very similar cities um, our culture is very fun we're very casual we're you know t-shirt and jeans every day and lots of office events that are run and um, and come up with by our colleagues so we have our we call them nerd olympics there are office olympics and um, cook-offs chili cook-offs and um, 
lots of meals together and potlucks. So we are also involved in the community where we have people involved with Girls Who Code, we're involved with the Girl Scouts and helping their, um, their members get interested in coding. We've been involved in Steam Fest and STEM Fest here. So that's something that we're really passionate about is getting that exposure to this type of work really early. Yes, yes, the STEM projects are, are really starting to show here in Fort Wayne and that's super exciting. Um, Absolutely. I think for our, you know, young, younger generation, especially our younger women. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Awesome. Well, I am so happy you were here today. Um, I know several students were very interested in this talk. Um, and we will be able to, everyone will be able to view that on our YouTube page. So um, we didn't have any questions today. So everyone was just listening, paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> so again, so happy to have you today, Amy. And thank you for being a friend. Hopefully um, the world gets back to normal, a new normal, <laughs> and we can actually see each other on campus. So um, appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you so much. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. All right. Bye.